Hi guys, this is Grimly again with another video review. This video review here is another installment of my comparative overview series where I do compare pens that are somewhat similar for a variety of reasons and slash or pens that you just might want to see side by side in order to be able to make an informed purchase decision. One of these pens that I thought, or a pair of pens here that I thought might be very interesting to see actually side by side is the Lamy Dialog 3 versus the rather new Lamy Dialog CC. <coughs> I have heard speculation on the internet, you know, seen on Instagram, people thinking or, you know, guessing which of these pens is a shorter one, the thicker one? Is there differences in diameter? What are the differences exactly? So I thought I'll bring a comparative video review to you. All of this would by no means be possible. Would it not be for my friend Joost over there at applebombpennen.com uh, who supports Scrively since many, many years. So thanks a lot, Joost, for supporting this here. Apple Boom Pen, and thanks a lot for helping me to bring this video. Before we jump in the review, just rather quick, the pen or both pens come in this very large Lamy box here. Um, they, of course, but don't both come in the same Lamy box, but as a matter of fact, it's the same packaging that they both come in. Um, comes with a brochure. That one here is the one of the Lamy Dialog 3 uh, and the one of the Lamy Dialog CC. Looks very similar. Here are the pens. And uh, I'm now not going to do like an in-depth review of these pens because like uh, in-depth reviews are available separately. The Dialog 3 is already reviewed, scrivily.org or on my YouTube channel. You can check out that video review and the Lamy Dialog CC. I will review in the near future as well. Or maybe I've already uh, reviewed it. I can't remember right now, depending on like when you watch that video. Anyway, this is not an in-depth review, but it will just be a comparative review to highlight similarities and differences for those that are interested in especially just that. Rather quick, both pens are available in a number of colors. In uh, actually, the Dialog 3 3, uh, the Dialog 3 is available in more colors uh, silver color, white color, black color, in some matte as well as glossy finishes. This here is the piano black glossy finish. Uh, the Dialog uh, CC uh, at the time of making this video is only available in two colors, a blue with rose gold accents and that glossy piano, glossy white with rose gold accents. But uh, as I know Lamy, I assume that the Dialog CC in the near future will also be released in a number of color special editions and what have you. Let's look at a few very obvious differences when we look at the pen. They both have the same front, very obvious. Well, of course, like uh, the closing cap here is um, on these retractable, re both retractable fountain pens, of course. Closing cap on this silver accented pen here is silver. Closing cap on that gold, rose gold accented pen here is gold. The Lamy Dialog 3 does then have a hinged clip. So it's a pen with a clip, whereas the Dialog CC does not have a clip, but a Lamy logo thingy that works as a roll stop. So not a clip. The Lamy Dialog 3 then has this kind of pattern here saying Lamy right here at the end, which the Dialog CC does not have. It's complete, completely clean. And then at the end, the Lamy Dialog 3 is rounded, like a cigar or something like that. Whereas the Dialog CC does have this kind of shape. I actually don't know how to describe that, but that's what it looks like. And it has like rose gold accent right here, matching the rose gold here and the rose gold there. That's already it in terms of uh, covering sort of like the very the very obvious things. The next very obvious thing, of course, is size. 
Size, especially length, is something that many people using the dialog 3 kind of complain about because it's a very, very long pen and you'll see it in my hands in a second. I measured it and it's a size difference up of about two centimeters. The dialog CC measures round about 12 and a half centimeters, a little bit depending on like where and how you measure it, whereas the dialog 3 measures around 14. 14.5 centimeters. So it's it's around about two centimeters. I, I don't do like very scientific measurements here, but it's around about two centimeters. And I do think that you can see that size difference very well here as well. And you will see it in my hands in a second. Diameter is pretty much exactly the same, I would say. So none of these two pens is girthier or slimmer than the other. Uh, maybe the end here looks a little bit thicker because this is rounded and this is flat. But I think that uh, when you see the pen like this, <clears throat> you can trust me that they are pretty much exact, the exact same diameter. <clears throat> I would say it's the exact same diameter. There is not a lot of leeway in there. They do come with different nibs though. Both are, as said, retractable fountain pens. I have an EF nib extra fine on that one here. It is a 14 karat gold nib, such as this pen, also a 14 karat gold nib, a fine in that case, but you do see the difference in nib. This one has a breather hole, and this one, such as the nib that, for instance, is on the Lamy Emporium, does not have a breather hole. Do I feel any difference in between those two nibs? No, not really. They are both excellent writers, fantastic gold nibs. And as you are used from Lamy gold nibs, they are both very bouncy and very springy. I think, again, right here in the close-up, the section, you see that the diameter girth thickness is pretty much exactly the same. It's for both pens half a turn to uh, extend or retract the nib. That is also pretty much the same. And when you open the pens, the way they fill is also exactly the same, right? The inner workings of the nib looks like that. I'll show you that on the other pen as well. Then we do a Size comparison in hand, as well as against the Lamy Safari. As said, pretty much the same. Quite likely, these inner workings are even interchangeable in between the pens. There you have it. Size comparison against the Lamy Safari uncapped. The Lamy Safari is a rather large pen. Uncapped. Pretty much same size than the Dialog 3. The Dialog CC is quite a bit shorter. As you can see. Let's uncap them. Also uncapped the Lamy Safari, a rather large pen. I would not write the Lamy Safari posted become, because it becomes very long and unwieldy. That is what a unposted Lamy Safari looks in my hand. The Dialog CC, which I do find to be a sensibly sized pen. It's by no means a small pen. That is all right in my hand. That is great, has good balance and good length. And as you can see, it is even longer than the Lamy Safari, which I already consider to be a rather long pen. There you have the Dialog 3, which in my even slightly larger hands, I don't have monstrous hands, but I definitely also don't have tiny hands, is just sticks out by a fair bit and uh, I don't know 
it's not uncomfortable, it's not unbalanced, but to my eyes, it just does not look aesthetically pleasing. And when I put the pen down right here, you see why. As said, the Lamy Safari is already not a small pen. The Lamy Dialog CC is quite a bit longer and the Lamy Dialog 3 is even longer. This is really a monster of a pen in length. As you can see right here, really a long pen for me personally, as I have said in the in-depth review of the Dialog 3, a too long pen to be written comfortably. Price-wise, uh, they are both the same. They both slightly north of uh, 300 euro, I think between 300 and 330 euro, depending on where you buy them. I think at Applebaum, they retail for 330 euro. Both of them, you know, what you prefer, that's pretty much up to you and what you like. I personally like the design, the look, and especially the length of the Dialog CC a lot better. Um, but I dislike the clipless design. Uh, I find the clip extremely useful because I tend to carry my pens in a pen pouch, um, in my shirt pocket or something like that. The Dialog CC does come with this uh, beautiful little leather pouch here, but I mean, I don't put that uh, in my shirt pocket because it might fall out uh, when I bend over. Um, I also do tend to carry not only one pen, but I most of the time in a three pen pouch carry two fountain pens and one mechanical pencil. Um, and I can't really carry that in my pen pouch because as I said, it doesn't have a clip. So that renders this pen for me personally kind of useless. But uh, of course, if your use case is a different one and if you're happy to have a clipless pen, which many people are, and that's totally fine, then that might work for you. So like in a nutshell, I love the length and dimensions of this pen, but I like the, that this pen has a clip. So if this one would have a clip, that would be the perfect pen for me. Let's do a quick writing sample just to show you that. This is, as said, an extra fine nib. Lamy Dialog 3. Beautiful writer. As said, these Lamy gold nibs do have quite some gift to them. As you can see right here, there's quite a bit of line variation that you can get out of those. Fantastic writers. If you're interested in an in-depth writing sample as said, check the in-depth review of the pen itself. This here is a fine gold nib. This is the Dialog CC. You see the same kind of line variation characteristic that this pen exhibits. Under pressure, you get quite a bit of line variation. I think it's one of the most pronounced line variations that you can get in modern gold nipped pens. That was that with this review of the Lamy Dialog CC versus the Lamy Dialog 3. Again, I hope this review was helpful. Again, thanks a lot, Joost. Thanks a lot to the crew over there at applebaumpennen.com for helping me to bring this review to all of you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Ciao, ciao.